It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Smith going to go to the air first play. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on draft routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Just beating the play clock, Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. On first and 10, Smith. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into it because they were there to help break that pass up. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. A quick throw out to Lockett. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Again, Smith. Returning right back to Lockett. And all the way in. Touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett. 64 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. touchdown here's Myers to boot it away 
from his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. now with a first and 10 at their 35 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Finding room at midfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Allen to throw once more. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Allen now on third and goal. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. had it each team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away taken at the 15 a short kick and he'll be stopped up at the 25 drive the Seahawks offense and as the offense begins another drive here uh, pretty simple Charles they want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone 
You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. To throw on second and ten. Smith throwing the out route incomplete. That's Goodwin. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. These two teams all tied after one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now Gino on first down. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Throwing now is Geno. No, it's out. Smith lost it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. They probably went empty something. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Allen. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills have taken the lead. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is taken way up at the 25. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and two. You hyping the crowd up, my guy? in the slot in motion left. Smith on first down. This is the tight end fan. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Good win, able to haul it in. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Now a first down throw. It's Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. But he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. Extra point up and through by Myers, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? First down, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 38 yards, as his guys have now moved out in front. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. On first down, it's Smith. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. 
So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses have their way so far, so maybe the question isn't, Who's going to score the most points in this game? Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. From the 50, at Smith. Flushed out right. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Smith. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Now, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times, so his aggressiveness it's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. So after the INT, it's Allen. And Diggs has it. And some room to work. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. And this one too low. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw again on second down. Allen, and he whips that one incomplete there. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. <laughs> when you talk about big moments in this game, but plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Here's Allen on first and 10. This one caught by Crowder. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From the 17, here's second and four. To the air, Allen. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. A final shot before half for Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown. What was that? Seconds of the first half. 
And the Bills will extend their lead here just before halftime. Tyler Bass now for the point after. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. To throw once more on second and ten. Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the 35. To throw, it's Allen. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. Then he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. And it's a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. This is caught for a Bills touchdown. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. The extra point by what are you doing? What, what are you doing, my guy? What'd you, what'd you call me? <laughs> what'd you call me? <laughs> you called me out my name? I'm, I'm happy I'm beating you, boy. Cause let's imagine if you was winning. <laughs> and a short kick taken at about the 16. You lucky I didn't get a clean hit stick. You would have fumbled that bitch. Get off my field, bro. Time to leave, bro. Get off my field, bro. Get off my field, boy. The only thing you do is run bunch. Get off my field, bro. Get off my field, bro. You done. And you're done. Get off my field. Get off my field, please. Oh shit, he said shut the what? Really enjoying watching the 
He said, shut the what? I know this man ain't say that. Because he know he not like that. Because he know he not like that, bro. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with you? Stop talking, bro. You know you not like that. No, 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 come back. What you got, an Amazon package? What you leaving? You good? Or what you messed up trying to leave? You want the funny clip by accident? Yeah. <laughs> you try hard as hell to leave right now. It's okay. So slow down. Slow down. Come on. You almost got it. There you go. 